Welcome back to EducateTooth.com. My name is Sipski, your host. Last time I showed you the lithium battery power pack. This is a, a battery bank that I built. Just do it yourself. This is a 12,600 milliamp hour. And I told you that I want to be able to hook it up to a Raspberry Pi. Okay, what is Raspberry Pi? It's really a small computer that you can build uh, yourself. It's, you know, basically it has, it's a s integrated circuits. It's like a board and all you need is to hook up to a uh, HDMI uh, device like a TV or um, uh, LCD screen and plug in the power supply, the keyboard, the mouse and it's ready to go. It's very very cool. It's a size, they say about the size of a credit card. This is a little bit bigger. I'll show you. There it is. This is the Raspberry Pi uh, board. This is a B plus. Okay, there it is. 512 megabytes of memory. The cool thing about this is um, it's a pretty decent uh, computer board for you know startup. If you want to be able to build a device, you know like basic robotics, um, be able to hook up and program. Right? It's really a computer um, that has its own operating system. Now you can even uh, uh, install Linux in there if you wanted to, but it uh, Raspberry Pi has its own um, OS system, so you could use that. And uh, the cool thing about this um, Model B Plus is that it has four USB port, micro SD slot, uh, full size HDMI, um, 40 pin extended GPIO for connecting with external devices like sensors, right? Uh, 700 megahertz. Uh, broad com uh, CPU with 500 meg RAM so I mean that means anything to you it's pretty good decent for building a small computer now the cool thing about this is today I'm gonna be showing you how to hook it up to a battery system so basically you can have a computer system that runs on a lithium battery okay and the thing is with this 12,600 milliamp hour it pretty much can run this um, small little computer the Raspberry Pi B Plus for over, I would say, around according to this calculation here, if you look at 12,600 uh, milliamp hour, I would say at least uh, 10 to 12 hours. All right, I haven't exactly tested yet, but um, I did it with another um, lower power lithium battery. It was a 9,000, I think 600 or something like that. It lasted for like you know, it was running, it kept running. For at least three four hours and was and it's I didn't measure the amount of um, uh, amp hour left but it's still running really well so I'm pretty sure that um, this will last for at least 10 to 12 hours which is pretty cool right now let's hook it up so here you can see there is a you uh, the uh, HMI cable let's hook up to this monitor here we are gonna turn it on but before you do that you need a keyboard which I have a small keyboard here and of course a mouse okay so you hook that up and put it on the uh, USB port and you're ready to go and the last thing we want to do is hook up the battery pack system okay so what you want to do is you take the micro USB there it is and you just hook it up like this and you're ready to go okay so ready to start and plug it in should be able to get it going there we go and press the button and I think yep and you can see the light going so it's gonna power up there we go you can see the monitor there it is so it's gonna go okay we'll wait about maybe a uh, half a minute to a minute and you're ready to go so it's just loading up okay because you can see the system is still checking itself it's loading up and we're gonna have Raspberry Pi operating system working so you notice here there we go and you notice here it's running basically on this battery pack system 12,600 milliamp hour all right I don't know if you can see that you can zoom in I don't want to move it too much my keyboard's gonna fall off right there oh, anyway okay there it is okay that's it it's that simple and it's running off a battery lithium battery and it will last at least 10 to 12 hours so if you're working in off field, like using sensors to measure like temperature, pressure, and all that, you could do that. And if you buy one of those uh, module for uh, LED monitor, you can buy actually a small size 
uh, three to five inch. You can hook it up and you're ready to go and you'll be able to um, get it uh, going. You'll be able to control your computer system. So here you have, actually you can see the uh, Raspberry Pi system. You have uh, Minecraft, you have um, a browser, you even have a math tool here called Woofriends and Mathica, Mathematica, Python, programming, and all that stuff. Okay, so anyway, I'll explain to you later on uh, as I go through other tutorials. And if you want me to focus on Raspberry Pi, I could do that. And we can go through what it can capable of doing. Okay, before I go, I, next time I'm going to show you how I mod this Samsung Gear 1 uh, smartwatch. Now, you can see normally that's what it does, right? So, yeah, the regular, you know, smartwatch, nothing uh, fantastic. But, however, I'm going to show you how I actually... Um, mod this watch into Android 4.2 smartwatch so it's a Samsung gear with now Android 4.2 OS system and the cool thing about it is that I can control just like any Android devices it's 4.2 I can actually use um, Google search voice search Google Translate internet browser anything like that let me just give an illustration for example let's do Google watch what time is it the time is 11 20 p.m. pretty cool huh who is George Bush Com. Before his presidency, Bush was a businessman and served as governor of Texas. George Walker Bush was a Okay, and, la and of course, the cool thing about this, Google Translate. Let me see. I'm going to translate uh, from French to Eng English to French. Hold on, okay. How are you? What's your name? Quel est votre nom? Instantly, I can uh, talk in English and it translate in French. I could do that with a different language as well. So all on the power of this watch. Anyway, thanks for watching. EducateTube.com